When I was eight years old, my mother took me to a lecture about the solar system, and I fell in love. We drew a four-foot sun on the sidewalk in front of our house, and then she helped me calculate to scale the sizes of the planets and how far away they were, and Pluto was out in the next town. When I was 14, I read an article in Time magazine about Caltech. It described Caltech, among other things, as a place where if you were a student and you got a wrong answer on an examination, but your reasoning was creative and compelling, you could get a good score. I figured that kind of a place is a place for me. I began working on the theory of gravitational waves in the late 1960s. Gravitational waves are predicted to exist by Einstein's relativity theory. A gravitational wave is a ripple in the fabric of space and time produced by a violent source, such as colliding black holes or the Big Bang. And if we can detect these waves as they go by, it would be a whole new way to explore the universe, to see these things that have never been seen before. Caltech bought into this in a phase when no place else would. They had a lot of guts. We would have to detect waves that would stretch and squeeze things by amounts that are one one thousandth the diameter of the nucleus of an atom. This looked daunting. <laughs> LIGO consists of two four kilometer long arms and what we call interferometers. When the gravitational wave arrives, it stretches the detector in one direction and squeezes in the other transverse direction. And the gravitational wave signal gets converted into an oscillating intensity of light. But making it happen in practice is unbelievably more complicated than that. I was quite confident that LIGO would succeed in detecting gravitational waves in my lifetime. It has been a long haul. On September 14, I went to my computer as I normally do first thing in the morning, and there was an email there. There's a possible gravitational wave detection. Go look. It was a beautiful colored plot. It showed a beautiful chirp. And I said to myself, oh my God, this may be it. It matched the predictions of the computer simulations beautifully. We can infer that it was two black holes colliding that produced the waves and that they're 1.3 billion light years away. It was just plain beautiful. We were all sworn to secrecy to be absolutely sure that this really was a gravitational wave. I didn't tell my wife even press conference at the announcement. It really was, in some sense, a love fest. We have detected gravitational waves. We did it. A genuine sense of shared triumph spontaneously. Everybody gave each other hugs. The press saw that. They felt that it. It was, the air was electric to get it joked about on Saturday Night Live. Scientists announced the detection of gravitational waves have uh, President Obama tweet about it. And those were not things that I expected. This will be a huge piece of astronomy and cosmology for the next several centuries. It epitomizes the Caltech culture, which says you go after the most important discoveries, especially if the payoff is enormous. I don't think this could have been done at any other institution in the world.